Before I begin my remarks, allow me to personally thank, with a great deal of sincerity, the Majority Leader and the Deputy Majority Leader for their willingness to allow me to bring this resolution to the floor. Uh, I also want to thank uh, former Senator Marchione, who carried this resolution for a very long time, uh, and her predecessor now, Senator Jordan, uh, for allowing me to carry this as well. I rise, Mr. President, with a great deal of happiness today. Uh, this resolution is probably my, uh, one of the most favorite ones that we do, and it's not because we get to wear uh, these really cool socks that many of us have on today, uh, but really because this resolution uh, is important to not only me personally, but so many families across my Senate district and across this great state. Tomorrow is World Down Syndrome Day, where we will celebrate the lives of millions and millions of people who live with Down syndrome across, across the globe. And this year's theme is Leave No One Behind, because it serves as a reminder of the reality that today, even in 2019, there are still prevailing negative attitudes. There are still low expectations, there's still discrimination and exclusion, and there are still people who look down upon those that have Down syndrome. That should be unacceptable to all of us. And at the end of the day, those who look, are looked down upon feel as though that they're not equal, right? Well, that, that's not the case today. Let us all remember that those with Down syndrome dream like every one of us in this room. They celebrate, they cry, they smile, they love, they laugh, just like every single one of us. All they want to do is live a life of happiness and to be included. They want and they deserve to be respected and appreciated, just like every single one of us in this room wishes to be. Now, today we're blessed with a very special guest in the Senate chamber, a very good friend of mine, someone who brings so much joy and happiness to the families across the 52nd Senate District. Everywhere I go, I see this young lady at local community events across my district. So much so that if she ever decides to run for office, I am in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. <laughs> Mr. President, go ahead. It's all right, go ahead. <laughs> and Mr. President, I want to introduce to this body a very special member of the 52nd Senate District, Julianne Juice Horton. Juice has such a passion and a joy for all that life has to offer. And that joy helps remind us what life is really about, what love is all about, what family and community are about, and how important it is to smile and to laugh, especially now, this time, in this crazy city. Uh, we should, in fact, laugh. We should, in fact, smile. I'll tell you a very quick story, if I may. Special Olympics. I'm sure many of us in this room participate. Uh, back at home, the event draws uh, more than a thousand people, and I was so proud to speak to the group of, of Special Olympians who were out on the football field. And on the bleacher were hundreds and hundreds of parents. And as I was speaking, uh, this young lady, with all of her bravery and all of her tenacity, stepped up in front of everybody and gave me a big heart, made me feel really special. Really, really special. But Juice and I are best friends. Just ask her. But I would happily share her with anyone in this room or anyone across this great state. You ask yourself why? Because of the joy and the smiles and the love that this young woman brings to life. It's those very traits uh, that give her the ability to unite people when we as a society have grown so divided, as the rabbi said. And she could put a smile on your face, I promise all of you, even if you were in your darkest hour. If you were in the darkest hour of your life and juice came into your world, she would put a smile on your face. It brings me to another person that's not here with us. Last year, I had the great opportunity to uh, recognize a young man that we lost, four years old, Cooper Bush. Uh, many of you remember that. Uh, lost his battle with leukemia. He also had Down syndrome. I promised the Bush family that day, and it still rings true in my mind, that I would do everything in my, my power uh, to ensure that their son's legacy lived on, and people never forgot Super Cooper. And Super Cooper was somebody that both Juice and I uh, loved very much. Mm -hmm. For me personally, I have come to know so many beautiful and inspiring people at home that live every day with Down syndrome. Like Juice, like Cooper, like Birdie, like Austin, like Katie and like Morgan. The list goes on and on and on. Uh, and every person that has Down syndrome, I just want to repeat this. They deserve to be included. They deserve to be celebrated, to be loved, to be hugged, showered with blessings. And they deserve the very same opportunities that we all enjoy. And quite frankly, that's what today is all about. 
God knows that those with Down syndrome treat those in their life in an incredibly special way. And to be frank, I'll repeat it, the state and the nation need more people like those that I've described who show unconditional love without prejudice. Juice, you are a shining example of that. For the past week, I want all of you to know that Juice, when she knew that she was coming here uh, to be a guest, she started making friendship bracelets. She didn't make friendship bracelets for this side of the aisle. She made 63 of them. She didn't care if you were a Republican. She didn't care if you were a Democrat. <laughs> what Juice cared about was ensuring that we were one. She cared about doing what was right. So I'll end on this, Mr. President, and I appreciate your indulgence. I'm encouraging everyone in this room, whether we're a Republican or a Democrat, to do our part and simply do what's right. I don't care if you're a Republican or a Democrat from Buffalo to Binghamton to Bed-Stuy to Bridgehampton on Long Island's East End. Do your part to ensure those with Down syndrome know that they are loved and they know that they are no different than you and I. Allow this day to serve as a reminder that we should cherish every life and that we are all God's children regardless of ability. Every single life matters. Every life. So thank you, Juice, from the bottom of my heart for opening my eyes and allowing me to see a side of our community that is so incredibly beautiful. Mr. President, I would ask that you welcome Juice and her mom, Mary Ann, to the chamber and extend all the privileges and the courtesies of this great house uh, to these two beautiful human beings. Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. President.